Hello everyone, here we are to help you fill up the IIT gate PG admission form. Okay, we have been getting a lot of queries regarding the same and here we are with a step-by-step -step guide to help you through the process. But before we start with it, there are certain prerequisites and they are all mentioned in the screen. Please, uh, you know, make sure that you've arranged it all before we start with the process. And another thing that we have to keep in mind is that the application form is only compatible with Mozilla Firefox. So if you don't have that browser installed in your system, please do so before starting. Once you have all of these things in place, please click on the application link in the description box and you will get this form that you can see on the screen. Okay. And then we can start filling it up together. I hope you are all ready with the certain prerequisites mentioned. And here we are about to start. So since you are getting two options, one is where you have to log in and the other one is new user register. So since I'm doing it for the first time, I'm going to click on new user register here. So I'm clicking here and I'm going to enter all the details. Okay, so enter your uh, email ID, your contact detail, your date of birth, date of birth, your title. There are various options. Please see through them carefully before you fill in. Your first name, your middle name, your last name. Okay, then they will show you your username and password. Your email ID is your username. Then you will have to re-enter your password before you enter your password and then re-enter your password. After you've entered your password and re-entered it, enter the capture. Make sure the capture is in a caps lock. So please make sure the caps lock is on. Once you filled it up, click on register. So after the registration process is done, you will be taken to the application login page. So here you have to enter the detail. So I'm entering the detail and signing in. So when I sign in, they show me the details of the documents which we required and we have already mentioned that in the beginning of the video. So come to the left side of the screen and there you can find the button apply now. Click on apply now and th these are the various tabs that we have to fill in. Personal details, program details, academic details, experience details and document. Okay, so let's start with the personal details. So you have to choose a title, your first name and last name has been filled up because they were entered in the registration part. Okay, your email ID has been given, your mobile number has been given. If you want to provide alternative ID or number, you can do so. Since I don't want to, I'm not going to. Okay, your know, nationality has been done too. Now we have to start with the rest of the form. So which is, you have to fill in your gender. So I'm filling in my gender, my category. Okay, you, if you want, you can enter your Aadhaar number. Since it's not compulsory, I'm not going to fill in. Then you have to enter your father's name. Okay, or your parent's name or your guardian's name. Okay, if you are a person with disability, please make sure to choose yes. If you are a person with defense personnel, please make, to sh make sure to choose a yes. Then you have to fill in your address. Okay, then you have to choose your city. Your country is already selected. If you are of another nationality, please make sure to choose that. Your PIN code. Your state. Okay. This was my correspond uh, correspondence uh, address. If your permanent address is same as it, just click on this box. If they are different, kindly fill in the details. Since it's same for me, I'm just going to click on this checkbox. Click on save and next. Just in case you're not able to, you know, fill the form for some reason, please make sure to keep saving that as draft so that the next time you come again, you know, you don't have to fill in the details from the very beginning. So I'm clicking on save and next. And now we are going to move on to the next tab, which is the program detail, the program for which I'm going to apply. Okay. So for me, it's MSc in economics. I'm going to choose masters of science. It's a full time thing for me. Department is humanities and social sciences and discipline is MSc economics. Once done, click on save and next. Okay, now we have to fill in the details of the qualifying test. Since MSc economics is through JAM. Okay, so I have to fill in the details of JAM here. Okay, if you're filling it up for some other discipline, make sure to enter the relevant qualifying test. Okay, and so I'm going to fill in JAM. Okay, which year I've appeared for this year, which discipline I'm going to select others and then just write economics here. Okay, then I have to enter my registration ID. Then I have to enter my score, which I have, you know, obtained. Maximum score is 
marks out of as we say okay then when it is valid up to if you don't know the validity here if it's not mentioned in the school card it says here that you can fill up a date up to 10 years from current year okay so i'm just going to fill in the date till which it's valid okay and then you have to enter your rank and percentile but these are not mandatory field all right so i filled it and then i have to now fill in the details of my qualifying degree like what i have done up till now to be eligible for this program okay so i have done bsc in economics so i am going to select bsc in which discipline it's economics for me so again i'm going to choose economics scroll through well to find your relevant de discipline then from you have to choose the university name i've done it from presidency university so i'm going to fill that up okay then you also have to write the name of your college so for me it's presidency then the city where my college was country has been filled up year of admission for me it was 2021 since i've already passed out you fill your details for me the results have already been awarded if you're still awaiting it or you're yet to give your exams please choose likewise for me it's awarded since my results have been out already i have completed my bsc last year okay so i'm filling up the year of admission year of completion and the result status and the duration will be filled up automatically then you have to choose what was the you know grade type whether it was in percentage or cgpa for me it was percentage and then you have to also choose the evaluation pattern whether you were given results on semester basis or on yearly basis i'm going to choose here for me then you have to sit with the uh, you know your result and fill in the details so i'm going to fill in the details you just have to enter the marks obtained and marks out of and they are going to calculate the percentage on their own okay then you have to choose write the overall marks obtained and overall marks out of and they are going to calculate the percentage yeah. on their okay then have you ever studied and discontinue discontinue your studies at iit delhi i have not studied so i'm going to choose no if you have please click yes now you have to fill in details of your you know other educational part it can be class 10 class 12 boards or if you have done any other undergraduate or post graduation courses already you have to fill in details since i've just done 12 and my college i've already filled in undergrad details on top okay i've just done one so i've filled it up fill that up now i'm going to fill in the detail of class 12 so i completed that in which year which board that was how which discipline was that for me it was commerce the score that i've obtained maximum score and it will calculate the percentage on its own if you have any rank or institute university board you know in in your boards you can fill that up if you want to add the details or subtract any details you can click on these buttons plus minus and if you don't have any just click on save and next once that is done you will be taken to the experience details where you have to enter your work details since i don't have any work details i'm going to enter zero for all zero years zero months and zero days if you have any please feel free to fill this form okay please take your time and fill it up well i'm going to click on save and next okay. now here i have to upload all the documents and my photo so i'm going to upload the photo then they are asking you to upload the documents your birth certificate or high school certificate i'm going to upload all of it then then you have to upload your score card once you filled up click on finish then you also have to uh, upload your qualifying degree and your mark sheets all in a pdf form all the details were mentioned in the beginning of the video please make sure to check it out i have it already once you are done you can click on preview and submit or save as a draft since i want to make a payment and be done with it i'm going to click on preview and submit so when i click on preview and submit they show me the details that i have entered i can cross check it okay once you are satisfied only then click on this declaration check box and click on file submit because you will not be able to make any changes post this So for me, it's a final submit. I'm going to click on OK. They're asking for your confirmation. And once you are done, you will get the Pay Now button here, where you can click and pay the application fee. 
and the details of that has been shared already and it's there on the screen as well for different categories so please make sure to click on pay now and with this we are done with the application process i hope i was able to help you through process thank you so much and we'll see you in the class soon take care